if I could say something to my younger self when Jay was diagnosed and I was 41, I might even go back a few years and uh, tell myself to really cherish every moment. You know, we waste so much time sort of, you know, not being on the same page or arguing or not loving each other enough or getting in a huff and, you know, it's just such a waste of time to not kind of make up and enjoy each other. Of course, you can't get along swimmingly 24 seven, but I think I would have said, don't waste any time being mad or getting put off or, you know, just all those times where I felt like maybe I was not generous enough with my love. And if I had known that I'd only have Jay until he was 42 years old, um, I think it would have kind of woken me up about the importance of being kind and giving. Um, I was, I wasn't a terrible wife, but you know, I think it just makes, brings into sharp focus that a lot of time is wasted over nonsense. I think in terms of telling my younger self when Jay was diagnosed, I don't know, you know, I think I would have not protected him so much from the truth. I was afraid for him to find out how devastating his diagnosis was. And I'm just wondering if that was really my place. So I think I would have said, you have to be honest because, or not try to shield him from the truth. And you have to have conversations that balance hope and optimism with realism. And I wish I had just had conversations with him about the fact that he might not be there, but that's something that we just couldn't do for some reason. It was just too hard, too painful, and too scary.